One of the things I love about science is it, it often gets presented, you know, because I talk about science a lot in public, and it can often seem arrogant, I think. It can seem, you know, like these people are saying, well, this is the way the world is. And, and you might say, well, you know, well, who are you to say this? The thing I like about it uh, personally, and the reason for its success, is that really you, you have to be delighted when you're wrong. It's the key, the key to science. It's been said many times, Richard Feynman, the great physicist, said it. You know, this is, if, if, you, if your goal is to understand nature, so that's what you want to do. So you don't, you don't, you've not got an ego or anything, you don't want to be, prove right, you just want to understand. Then being wrong, so if this idea of dark energy and dark matter turns out to be wrong, all scientists, or all good scientists, will be absolutely delighted because it'd be tremendously exciting right. that we'd ruled out this picture. Right. It'd be great to rule out this picture. So there isn't such a thing as dark matter and dark energy. It's, it's all nonsense. We, we, were, we were barking up the wrong tree, looking in the wrong direction. It's something else which should be more wonderful, undoubtedly, than that theory that we have. And so I think it's a, it's a humble pursuit, ultimately, science. And, and that's the reason for its success, because you, you're just trying to understand how things work. You're not trying to, you're not, you, you shouldn't be anyway, good scientists are not trying to be the person that got it right. You're not trying, you're not, you're not trying to do it. There's right. obviously human failing. Everyone's got fragility and everyone's ego. human, you know, and, yeah. and ego. But ultimately, you're just trying to understand how things work. Yes. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's so important for everyone else that doesn't have the time. We, we need you doing that. <laughs> I need to, it really does in some way give us comfort to have a, a better, more comprehensive view of what we're experiencing. And as technology expands, like,